Sup y'all, so Chestnut. This game gets pretty interesting. It's got some weird stuff going on. Um, I have some well-placed rooks that really go to my advantage. So this is kind of strange. I don't see this response much. Surprised it's a book response. Um, I'm playing the usual stuff that I always play. But usually, after this move, I don't see that. I usually see him, you know, trying to fight for the center. So I figure, you know, instead of throwing my bishop out, I'm just going to throw my center pieces up. So, you know, I'm covering a lot of the center, and I'm feeling pretty good. It's just, it's a weird opening. That seems strange, too. Like, I guess he is very concerned that my bishop was going to um, pin his knight to his king or something. But yeah, this is, you know, it's just weird, a weird opening. So at, at this point, I feel like, I almost feel like we're not playing the same game. Like I'm covering so much space and he's not doing much. That doesn't mean it'll always work out. I actually kind of don't think I should have pushed that pawn. You know, in hindsight, maybe could have pushed somewhere else, but it all works out. Right there, he could totally take that pawn, but this knight is pinned so <laughs> he could take it but then i would just get his knight and that'd be pretty interesting but as things develop right here he could have took it you know he could have took it it would have been an even trade i guess he didn't want to even trade there but it also kind of develops the bishop so i think there you know it says d6 is excellent but I kind of feel like he should have maybe traded down. Just me, you know, free balling it. Just guess. So, I don't really remember what I was thinking there. But they say it's a good move. I'm trying to wrap my head around this one. I think I just needed something to do anything. And I felt like that was probably better than nothing. That's how a lot of my moves, that's where they come from. <laughs> well, I don't have anything, so I'm just going to, you know, give it that. So right there, that doesn't seem to do much of anything. See, yeah, right there, I'm, I'm attacking his queen, so he has to kind of respond. And then I get the bishop, but he just takes back. So I'm down on points right now. I'm down a point. But that's not why. That's not why I'm showing you the game. This is where it gets a little interesting, a little saucy. So right there, I was I was threatening checkmate in one. This is pretty much a forced move. It's not literally forced. I mean, he could have pushed a pawn, but you know, I feel like right here he doesn't have that many defenders. The structure doesn't look too solid, so you know, I'm gonna try to test it. Then, right here, I saw this, and this is where my rooks start getting interesting. I could have added a defender to a vulnerable pawn. Yeah, so I guess he is vulnerable. But, he didn't, again, he probably should have took the trade down. Right there. Then, you know, I, I'd take it back with my bishop. <laughs> I get really crooked on those lines sometimes. But, uh, let me see how that would look. You know, then he defends this idea that I had to fork. Not 100%, because my queen is also, you know, pointing at it. But, yeah, I don't feel like this really did much. Especially when I was already planning this. I think he was planning a uh, pawn push discovered attack. Which, you know, that really wouldn't have been that bad if I didn't find this first. So now, now my queen's just fine. If he pushes the pawn, big deal. I get the rook. And this is where I place another rook just beautifully. And it comes in handy later. Pushes the pawn. Yeah, right there, the pawn push. It does open up the bishop line. So I wouldn't call it a bad move or anything. It's saying it's the best move. 
I can't argue because there's not much that he can do. But just gets my queen there. Then he tries to chase my queen, but again, like his king is not very defended, and I, I, I honestly felt like unless he actually traps my queen, which is hard when I have a lot of spaces to run to. Um, yeah, he's just weakening that side even more. I didn't have like a perfect way to exploit it. I could have, you know, tried to go there, or there, but this is what I was really looking at. And right here again, well, I say he should have taken I was thinking he should take it, but that's where that rook just, I mean, it's so nasty, man. So nasty, that rook getting there. So he gets his queen out of the way. Definitely, probably intending to take there. I don't actually know. That's a weird move. Yeah, that's a very strange move. I don't know what that accomplished. That was almost like just doing nothing. But I take right there. And honestly, I feel a little stupid that I didn't just take with the queen. Why didn't I do that? Let me think of that. It says this is best, but, but why doesn't that work? He goes back. Oh. I don't have any. No, I do. I could just go right there. Then I, I win the game either way. So, yeah. I could have won the game that way. But what I ended up doing instead, which still leads to checkmate, and I guess it leads to a faster checkmate right there. He only has one place to go. And I get that. So, I thought those rooks were very useful. Um... You know, this one, being so ready to attack right here, like, I'm going to win that rook if he moves the knight anywhere. Before, I would have won the queen if he moved the knight anywhere. And then earlier in the game, when the rook defended this knight, I felt pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like my rooks were sniping him out that game. Um, I felt pretty smart. It, it wasn't like... So I didn't have like a ton of moves in between. You know what I mean? It was pretty just black and white. But it made me think of those Grandmaster moves where, you know, you'll see I got a Gobmator or whoever like analyzing the game and then they're like, he moved the, the king to H2 like five turns before it was useful. That's how I felt moving these rooks here. So felt pretty cool. Felt like it was a cool game. Wanted to share it. Hope you enjoyed.